Well, this is a, an EFT session in connection with my car not working properly where the gears aren't going into where they're supposed to go to work. And it's really stressing me out because I have to use the car. So sometimes the gears do work and sometimes they don't. So I'm using a little bit EFT to help me just to calm my nerves and then all will go well. So follow along with me if you want. It doesn't matter if your gears aren't working. Just tap along with me and you will receive what is called borrowing benefits. So just with the fingers of one hand, the tips of one hand, just tapping on the karate point. Just repeat after me. Even though here I am, I'm sitting in my car. I know I need to drive away with it and I'm not sure if the gears are going to work or not. But that's okay because I'm doing the best I can. So even though I'm not sure if these gears are going to work when I start up the car again, I'm just going to have to hope they work. I'm just going to have to be positive they work and not think too deeply about it. But I totally and completely love and accept who I am and the situation that I'm in. Even though I'm really stressed. And I can feel this stress just right here in my collarbone. Take note where you feel this stress. That's where I feel it. I feel this stress just in my collarbone. And it makes me want to swallow. And I'm really scared for driving off again. And in fact, now I can feel it down in my stomach, just underneath my ribs. But that's okay because I am doing the best I can. Now follow along with me, we're going to tap through the upper body. First of all, the eyebrow, just at the beginning of the eyebrow. And just repeat after me, I'm really stressed. End of the side of the eye, just right at the side. I'm really stressed. Under the eye, just where the bone is. I'm really, really stressed. Under the nose, I'm stressed. To the chin, I'm stressed. Collarbone, I really feel panicky. Under the arm, just about three inches under the arm itself. And just tap. Tune in to where those feelings are. Go to the top of the head and just tap. I'm really, I'm really stressed about these gears. I'm going to continue in another round. I can feel it in my collarbone. I can feel it in my solar plexus area, just under my ribs. And it's a really horrible, sickly feeling. Whenever I think about my gears, about them not working. It's like, what is the worst that can happen? If they just decide not to work. Well, I could be stuck in the middle of the road. I was yesterday when they stopped working. But it was all right because somebody came to my rescue and there's always going to be somebody around to help me if I ask them. People understand. Most of the time they understand. And if they don't and I'm stuck in the middle of the road there's not a lot I can do. <sighs> Except panic. 
and that's not going to do any good whatsoever. I'm only doing the best I can. And they still work if I'm relaxed, which is quite strange. So maybe it's me that's doing something to them. Well, I don't believe that one. And then take a nice deep breath in to ground, breathe in, and then breathe out. Take note of if there's any feelings in your body now, can you feel those feelings? My collarbone doesn't feel quite so panicky and I don't have the feeling in my solar plexus just under my ribs, that's not there now. So we'll do a short positive round. Even though I'm not sure if my gears are going to work when I want them to next time I start this car up. I'm doing the best I can. I'm not actually sure when I start this car up again if the gears are going to work. There's not a lot I can do if they don't. I've signed up for the REC, so I just have to sit and wait. So even though these gears might not work, again, I'm doing the best I can. And that's all I can do. I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. There's obviously something the matter with the gears. But now I've got RAC. I've got rescue. So if I get stuck somewhere, no matter where it is, I'm okay. I didn't have it yesterday when the car broke down when the gears wouldn't work and I got out of that situation all right by driving in second gear going home half an hour's drive home the hazard lights on with a convoy of cars behind me and I just sat as I was driving and I tapped and I smiled and I got home in the end. And that's what will happen until I get them fixed. Because, quite simply, I'm doing the best I can. And everything will be alright. In body, mind and spirit. And take a deep breath in. And out. And know that no matter what happens, everything will be all right.